Hello and welcome back to my display on Total War Free Kingdoms with Liu Bei on Legendary Difficulty. Well, last time we left off, we had been expanding, exp exp expanding, expanding. We uh, we took uh, the town of Zhangye, the city over here, um, and we are of course awaiting the war with uh, Gongshenzan, who has now taken a couple of my. Uh, sorry, not my regions, uh, Yuan Shao's regions. We also have this uh, spy now, who's uh, going to be leaving me, unfortunately, in a couple turns. I don't really know what to do about that. Uh, we'll have a, a more in-depth look at that in a bit, though, because we haven't really looked at the spy system yet. Um, now, one thing that is kind of important in this campaign that I have just recently realized... Uh, and that is that I can actually, uh, well, we knew we can already annex, uh, we already knew we can annex, uh, annex Han Empire territory. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Uh, what I didn't know, though, and this makes total sense, is that it's not an act of war. So we can actually peace out with Dong Min and consequently his vassal, the Han Empire, and still take all of their regions. So that means we can stop worrying about armies like this one and potentially other ones arriving in our land. Uh, when we are fighting against Dong, uh, sorry, Gong Xin Zan. Um, and we can still just keep expanding around here, taking all these towns, which I, I want to take, well, I want to take a couple more. I don't want to take all of them, uh, because we do have the problem of, of course, our kingdom coming up pretty rapidly here. But if I keep annexing, maybe I can even bring it down to the former level. We're going up so fast, I'd have to annex, like, <laughs> I'd have to annex a town every two turns, which is difficult. And even then, I'd still go up like two points every every two turns. Um, so yeah, but I think that's I think that's a legitimately good thing to do because not I'm not really particularly uh, scared of, for this army, but there might be more coming. I think mean, there's one right here that we can already see, um, and I don't have the forces to deal with that because this one is still on its way there. I'm also gonna try and ask Liu Dai for some uh, early, uh, some early access, <laughs> some military access. Can I get some early access, please? Um, so yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, start with you, I suppose. Let's see about this um, uh, military access, please. Nine point four. That's uh, a little bit of money. I guess I can wait a turn on that, can't I? Because I'm not actually there yet. Maybe it gets better next turn if I start threatening with, my, with an army on his, on his doorstep. But it gives him military access. Okay, let's do Dong Min then, not you. Dong Min. Alright. Uh, wait, request allied support against Dong. No, I don't want that. Declare alliance or declare war against all the members of the. Oh, wait, is that an alliance? Hold on. The alliance of the graceful. Oh, yeah, we saw that, didn't we? The graceful crane. Uh, that's a pretty large alliance. Oh, yeah, Kong Rong's fucking in there as well. <laughs> you asshole. Anyway, right, I'll, uh, I want to peace out. Oh, wow. it looked like 3.7, it's actually 7.3. Um, <laughs> the numbers got all jumbled up, and not in my favor. Eight grand. How much do you need food? I have some food here. Not a lot anymore, actually, but... Ooh, that's pretty good. I can give him a bunch of food, so let's make it... Like, seven food, and then I can give him, like, one ancillary that's worth two. Like a shitty one. Yeah, this eavesdropper guy. Yeah, definitely. Boom, 0, 0.0. I could even give him some extra stuff to make him even happier. Money doesn't seem to do much. Um, yeah, I mean... That's still point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, four, four. Yeah, like, even one is already a thousand bucks. It's not gonna happen. So I think we're just gonna do that. One ancillary... And... A, cu a, cu a bunch of food, which we are gonna be a bit low on for a little bit, but I think we'll be alright. We can always That's trade some food if we absolutely have to, but I think we'll be fine. Uh, we're probably getting some back at some point in not too distant future anyway. So now we're pieced out, but... Now, I, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I'm pretty sure um, we can still annex. Yes, there's no, like, it doesn't say anything bad. So I'm pretty sure this is going to work. Oh, you can't reach that. You can still reach this town here. Do I... Nah, I might as well just go for this now, right? I guess we'll find out what next turn for for sure whether we just, this works or not, but it certainly looks like it will. That's pretty fucking good. In fact, oh my goodness, I just realized something even better. I could just recruit a single general 
<laughs> and since I'm not at war with him anymore, run that general through all the towns and annex everything by himself. Because I don't have to fight anyone. Oh my god, is that <laughs> is that what I'm gonna do? Oh, that's 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 cruel, that is. Oh, I, I really didn't utilize this um this unique ability of Liu Bei <laughs> well enough up until this point. Alright, so I could legitimately do that. Recruit a single general, don't even recruit a retinue for him or her. And just run around. The thing is, I don't really want that many more territories. If I'm going to do this, I want to take the, the livestock farm here, that there, and then the toolmaker to finish off that province. This is actually completely destroyed, so we have to, it costs 4k to actually bring this back from, from the dead. And then I want to take, I think probably the entirety of Fu Ling, which is probably this and then uh, this area, however large that is. And I want to take this iron mine here, and I want to take this. And that's it, because then I have a whole bunch of, like, complete provinces. So I'm not going to go here, because that's another, f like, that's a completely different province. I don't want to have to deal with that right now. Ling Ling. Um, but then, yeah, because also, of course, if you, the, the further we expand, the closer we're going to get to King, and that's not where we want to be right now. Because we're also going to probably take a couple of towns around here. So that's a thing we have to contend with, too, right? Speaking of, let's actually finish this army off. Um, now we have a little bit of money left over, so you're gonna go there. The other two armies have already been moved. I've only got four armies, right? I've got five armies. Of course, yeah, because we've got that one there now, and of course we've got her still in here, right? So that's the thing. Um, right, another thing. Okay, man, this has been mentioned so many times throughout my Let's Plays now, but it's definitely something I need to think about. She's not giving me any fucking babies, right? The thing is, and a lot of people have already been... Uh, can, like saying this essentially and I've been thinking it for a very long time too and I think I mentioned it once or twice throughout the episode as well I'm assuming and you are you most of you guys are as well that these characters if they in order to get babies they they apparently have to be in the same uh, they have to be in the same place also a lot of people keep saying there's <laughs> there's free buttons if you hover over it says make air but that's not that's not like ordering make a baby it's making her my actual heir. It basically is putting her from there to there. That's not... That's not make heir. It's not like ordering her and Liu Bei, Go have sex! I want baby! <laughs> make baby! That's not how that works, obviously. I feel like that that should be pretty clear, because why... Then it would, it would say make baby, not heir. Cause just because you have a kid doesn't automatically mean they're your heir. Um, because, you know, you could have two, three, four, six, eight, five, hundred thousand kids. So, well, difficult, probably, hundred thousand, but, you know, could try. Um, anyway... Point is, that's not that. Uh, they need to be in the same place. So what I can do, uh, possibly, is just switch this force around. I can't now because I need to be in my own territory. But switch her around. The f unfortunate thing is that these guys like each other. Um, but yeah, just switch her around with someone else and just leave her, leave her to do nothing for a while, and then. Um, we give, we, we put a, probably a vanguard in here as well, because I actually want to switch it up. I talked about this before, I think, that I should have, a, if I'm going to have, like, Saber Militia, or, like, this kind of infantry, I should have a, a vanguard as the actual leader. And if I'm going to do, um, if I'm going to have a champion, then I should have a, um, a commander. Because, again, we're, we have armor piercing, armor piercing here. And in here we have no arm piercing, no arm piercing. So we need we need to mix it up better. Anyway, um, so I think yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take her out of the army once she gets into my own territory. And in the meantime, you guys are all gonna keep taking shit. And then I guess yeah, let's just have a look at all the towns. So in Dong, which is where we have a huge garrison, so that's why this is pretty happy right now. We need to build the market wharf. We haven't even got this here yet. No idea why, but time to build that. Runan. Got a couple of upgrades. Also, we have at this point got like 60% corruption. So I think getting that building, this one, and upgrading it all the way over here to 15% corruption across all our adjacent commanderies. I feel like that's a building you probably need to get in like every province regardless. So you always go for the industry income building just for that alone, I feel like. Because that corruption is really adding up. That said, for the moment, I'm going to have a look at anything that I've got like cheaper stuff to build in like here. Because we haven't got that much money right now. Uh, just one as well. Uh, yeah, sure. Langye. This is the minus happiness one. Where we can build this currently. 
and it will even out. So let's go for it, I guess. It's free. It's free real estate. And then we got some other buildings I can build. Such as that one. So yeah, let's go for that. And then that's all my money. Down the fucking drain. Okay, you guys are still on the way to help out. Not really help out me, but help out your own self. Your own dang self. Because you lost a bunch of land. We're going to have you just sit here. I think we're going to be okay here. Unless they go across here and go towards Taishan. But even then, I think we'll be okay. Um, these armies are all quite wounded. So I have to take some time to replenish as well. So I think that's good. I wonder actually... Hmm. Seriously considering, I could probably reach it right now if I jump into the water and then I should be able to attack it right away. It is in my favor, but it's still a defensive town and my army's gonna get fucked if I do that and then I'll get attacked by two armies. Somewhat wounded armies, but not wounded enough for me to be able to deal with that. All that shit, and then without replenishing anything, take on those two as well. I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's just wait for reinforcements before I make any rash decisions. We're not, like, we're totally fine here. We can hold this for a long time, so we have time to wait for this army to arrive, and potentially even that one at some point. But for the moment, I'm gonna leave her here, because she's replenishing kind of slowly, so let's let her do that for a bit. Anyway, I think that's all I can do then. Uh, so yeah, rather than divorcing, I think I'm gonna just take her out of the army. People have been saying you should marry... Uh, Sun Nguyen, which is kind of how you pronounce it. I've I've learned the pronunciation now of the uh, Sun Jan faction because I've I've done the uh, faction overview on them, and uh, it's fucking difficult, man. Like those are some of the most difficult names I've had to pronounce so far. Uh, Sun well Sun Jan's alright, but Sun Set, uh, Sun Chuan or Sun Chuan, I think it is not Chuan Chuan, and then Sun Nguyen. You don't even really pronounce the R, it's like when. It's, it's more like when, but when, kind of like that. I don't know. It, it's partially correct, I think. Um, at least I'm trying, alright? Um, but yeah, people have been saying I should marry her. The thing is, I don't think she comes of age. I've tried this now because obviously I had to I had to intern until she came of age. And she came of age and turned 87, so I am getting close. So maybe if by then we still haven't had any kids, I'll divorce my wife and potentially try and marry her. The thing is, though, I'd imagine... Soon, uh, Soon Jan is not gonna really go for that marriage. It's probably gonna be kind of difficult to acquire her. This is also something I've been wondering about. If I were to acknowledge his leg legitimacy and support his claim to emperorship, and then I, so I will, I would declare myself emperor. I would love it if he is one of the free emperors that declares themselves, right? Because then I can just take his shit. But I wonder what happens if I then declare myself emperor. Does it, like, is, am I still able to? What, what happens if I do this? I don't actually know enough about this mechanic um, to do this. But it seems like such a it's it seems like such a good thing to do because I support this guy, and then I declare myself emperor. He declares him, himself emperor with his one little town. I take him out. That's one of the that's one of the two enemies I got to take on. Immediately gone. But I need to learn more about this. We have time to, to, to do this still. So let's hold off on that for now. But I honestly might consider doing that. If that if that does what I think it does. The thing is though, if I support him, does that mean I can still declare myself Emperor? Does it mean that he needs support from several people before he can declare himself Emperor? Like, I don't know how that works. Uh, Brothers in arms, it's been a long time since you've seen your sworn kin. China is vast and the country's knees are many. You've been separated and... Okay, we've had this before, but we were mates. Cool. Um... We got a uh, spy report, we got a trait, trustworthy on Yu Jinping. Nice, I like Yu Jinping. I, uh, I named one of the episodes after her. Uh, episode 9, I think, or 10. I was like, all I need is you. Because she was the one who took on uh, that asshole we've been running around here for ages. Uh, the Han Empire general with like two units of archers. Fuck me, we built like every building in the world just then. Alright. Um, so yeah, we, get, we need to get that military access now. So Liudai. Can your daughter move for your land, please? 6.4, that's gone down, isn't it? 1588. Uh, I've got another... You want to unify? Oh my god, that's not that far away. Support your independence. He doesn't even want it. I have to pay him to support his independence. Um, right, I'll give you a shitty ancillary. This one, the eavesdropper, because I don't really care about the eavesdropper. Seems really shit. I mean, the f plus five cover cost is probably fine, except you need to be Prime Minister Arrow Faction to use this. 
which we're not. Um, I want, yeah, sorry, I want military access, 6.4. So I've got to add a whole bunch of money in there as well, to be honest. I don't think I've got any other ancillaries I really want to give him. That I might actually use at some point. The Watch Formation one, definitely going to be using that at some point. Uh, this one, I don't know, maybe. Let's just give him some money. Fuck. Okay, just drop that down a bit. Uh, like that, and then actually a little bit more. Like that. And then I'll give you that ancillary, like I said. Okay, so give me a plus two, so maybe you'll like me a little bit more. Currently trending towards plus 94. You know what? Let's just fucking... This is nothing to me. Well, there you go. 1.6. Boom. Holy shit. Trending towards 141. That's a weight. That's actually massive. Um, treaties with us. Is that is that it? That probably is it. Wait, it must be actually the military access as well. I don't know how much the actual money added there, to be honest. It may have just been full-on military access that made him happy. Right, you've got a level up. Uh, yeah, you're going for those things for sure. This is actually really good as well, but we definitely want to go for those too. So now we... Wait, that, that at least gave us the... Yeah, flaming shot. Ooh, we have a reform. We also got a couple level ups. Zhao Yun ranked up as well. So you were going... We definitely want that. We definitely want this. Uh, you're a administrator, so that's really good as well, as I've learned. I do want these things, but we have another guy who ha who does that. This guy. And he... Well, he's got him unlocked yet, but he will do at some point. Um, this is... That's not bad either. So yeah, let's just go down this, this route, actually. Uh, so, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, we've got one point left over after that, too. Perfect. And then, we've got a level up on you. Ooh, you're carousing. Have you been fired? Are you still going to leave me? He's only 58 now. Wait, did he get fired? <laughs> Wait, is he? St he's not a commander anymore. He's no longer in there. Oh, I wonder if it's because they they're running out of money because they lost a couple of towns. Maybe he got fired because of that. I have no idea. That seems weird. He seems to get. He seems not to be an administrator anymore either. Fuck! I didn't even look at all the options though. Ah, oh, so now I've got nothing I can do. Okay, well there was option. There were options before, but no longer. All right, Cao Zong, Cao Cao uh, Cai uh, Zhong. There you go. Um, although people said, I think, that, wait, like, Dong Zhou, the, the Zhou is pronounced like Zhou, someone said, so it's like Dong Zhou, that sounds like it might actually be correct, Dong Zhou, instead of Dong Zhou, Dong Zhou, maybe, someone else let me know, anyway, this guy, who, who are you, you're, uh, you don't like... Yu Jingping. What do you do? Who are you? Who who Why do I have to why do I have you in my court? Who are you? Who 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 he's on the left as well. I feel like this guy I don't even know why I have him. Doesn't seem particularly good. He's not f particularly happy with me. Why you are careless? That's pretty shit. You're quiet. Energetic, formidable. That's good if he wants to cover for me. Or if he wants to spy for me, sorry. Um, careless doesn't seem particularly good, though. Minus four cunning. <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm wondering, should I just fire this guy or not? Wait, what does this mean? Um, agricultural exploitation. What the fuck is that even? Is that something he's doing right now? He's just a character at court. He's not doing anything. Except... I don't know what the fuck this is. Uh, anyway, let's give you a level up, I suppose. So, um, I'll go for that one. But who are you? Do I just fire this man or what? I don't understand who he is. I don't feel like I'm... I don't think I've ever used him before. Doesn't seem particularly good. Then again, he's my only other champion besides Guan Yu. So if I were to use one, I guess it'd be him. Although there's uh, Zhuji Hangba as well. Who doesn't look any better. 21 years old, though. This guy's 43. This guy's got a bright future out of him. Uh, Tsai Zhong. I think you're going to be fired, mate. I don't know who you are. And I don't understand how you got here. You've got Binding Fury, though. Ah, fuck, I'll keep him. I don't even know who he is, but... It's not going to save me much money if I fire him. Right, what do we got here? What have we here? We were going for Onyx Dragons, I believe. Although I'm not sure why, because we... I've realized now that G Militia and G Infantry are pretty solid, but 
guess I'm going for them anyway. Uh, which means I need to get this mercantile re regulation. It's going to give me a little bit more money. This gives me an extra unit as well. Um, I don't quite know why I'm going for those anymore, but we're so close now. I guess I was going for the available trade agreement, which we are full on trading now, are we not? No one wants to be unified with me. He wants a bunch of agreements, but I don't really want that with him. Um, okay, well, let's let's do all this other stuff, I suppose. Starting with you. I guess you can just go into normal stance now. Yep. No war. Just taking over towns. Sweet. Um, let's upgrade this right away. That's almost all my money, though. You're going to keep going there as well. You're actually going to take quite a while to get there. You're going to get there in two turns. Or, well, yeah, two more turns from now. One, two. Um, so, yeah. I'm not... I need to take this one as well. I don't know. I guess what I could do is I could take that, then take Padong, and then just take the river back up this way, which would probably be much faster than going for the mountains again, because that seems to be taking an awful long time. Alright, you've already been moved. Yep, you're just still going to hang around. Gong Shinzan is in there now. That's fine. He can stay there. You're taking ages to replenish, so you can hang out for there uh, for now as well. Um, let's spend the rest of my money. Got some massive unhappiness here. Probably because of this building here. What else have we got? Population buildings. Okay, let's just get rid of this building altogether. Even though this is actually very... Because it's got insane peasantry income. Although it's so far reduced by corruption and shit that it actually doesn't help that much. Um, yeah, we should build the happiness building here first. The temple. Because that place is just not hanging out. and It's not happening there. Here it seems I've got the same problem. Populations being a bitch, so let's get rid of that. Peng Cheng. Same problem too, although here we can actually build the building. So I think that's what we'll do. Get that public order back up there. Uh, Yang Zhao, we've got the same problem as well. And this place is actually already unhappy, so let's get rid of that altogether. Again, we're going to be losing a whole bunch of income from getting rid of these buildings, but unfortunately it looks like we're going to have to. Uh, this place is already unhappy. Why did everything became become so unhappy recently? Let's demolish that one too, because that's already unhappy, and we're just upgrading it even further. Something changed, and it's not for the better. Uh, what is this? Taishan, what have we got? Uh, lots and lots of commerce. Okay, well, we've got all the commerce buildings already, so whatever else we want to build now. Normally, again, it would be the administration office, but... Do I just build the temple here as well? Start preparing for the inevitability of... This is one more building slot, which we get from the next level, yeah. This, there's a sixth one. Okay. Shanghoi? Sh Shangyong? What the fuck? How did I read Hoi there? Uh, we haven't got any money left. This is a... No, that's definitely not going to be farming. Farming? This is going to be industry. So... The private workshops here are actually fine. Changsha? We can only build Shuhan tax collection now. We can upgrade that one. This seems fine still, but only up to this one thing. So let's just build a temple here instead. Make sure everyone's happy. Okay. This place is incredibly happy, actually. So this looks like one where I could build it. Then again, the, when the population goes up, it's going to be fucked again. But I guess we'll build it here. And then just build a temple as well. All right. Sweet, we've made the things that happened that needed to happen, so let's move on, shall we? Gong Shinzan, is he gonna be attacking me? Gong Shinzan, Gong Shinzan. Whenever I see Han Sui, I just feel like the name should be Feng Shui. Or something. Isn't that like a, a thing? <laughs> Said the racist. <laughs> Isn't that like a thing, that feng shui kind of deal? Alright, we finished the mission. Good shit. Uh, oh, my spot. Uh, wait, hold on. Okay, Zhang got promoted to a general again. I don't know why he was fired before. Is he going to defect again, though? It doesn't say it anymore. Alright, so we've got options now. Let's have a look at this. So you can build an undercover network. Uh, acquired additional covert relations and assets within the faction, thereby allowing you to bolster your undercover network overall. Okay. So I guess it's something that is good for the future. You know, like you invest in the future. 
Manipulate the faction's trade efforts, thereby increasing your own trade power. Uh, obstruct the faction's trade, uh, sorry, efforts, thereby diminishing their trade power. Spread malicious rumors about a character, thereby significantly decreasing, diminishing their satisfaction with the court. So that's something I could do if I wanted someone. So if I see someone who either I know is a legendary character, or like, you know, if it's got a unique portrait, you could generally tell if they're a legendary character too. I actually, um, I gave some, like this guy is definitely legendary, like unique character. Uh, this is actually some feedback I gave to uh, developers just the other day. Is that I think because I've, I've been having trouble with this myself, and other people immediately like this is on the content creator Discord for for to the war. Uh, other develop other content creators agree with me immediately, saying that right now it's impossible to tell. Is this character? Is she just legendary? Has she got a golden name because she has a, a skill over a hundred points, or is she legendary? Because she is actually a legendary character from history. Now he, I know, because he's got a unique portrait. There's no other character that looks like this. But I don't know. There's another one here. She. This is not unique. She is. She just looks like any other sentinel, uh, female sentinel. So is she legendary? Because she, her, you know, is her character legendary, or is she just? Has, does she just have a stat over a hundred? So they need to change it. I, I uh, suggested that they make it so that. Um, for example, the legendary, actual legendary characters um, have a golden name, just like they are now. And then this character, if she just has a stat above 100, just has a silver name. So the stats to say, like, she is also legendary in a way that she has a skill above 100, but she's not a legendary character from history. Anyway, so this guy, I could try and make him pissed off and then um, have him join me. Because he looks, he, he's a champion, which I definitely need more champions. I think what I want to do, though, is maybe do this, because then we get more covert relations and assets within the faction, thereby allowing you to bolster your undercover network overall. So I think this is good for the future, right? And then it costs 10 cover. We'll establish a convincing personal cover, thereby allowing them to perform increasingly ambitious operations. The rate at which they establish cover increases with experience. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do build undercover network. And then this will go up. So it costs that, but we gain that. This credit character costs a whole bunch of everything, but I think we should wait. Okay, let's try this. Your spy sends forth agents to further strengthen their position with new contacts and assets, but the activities have gone unnoticed, not gone unnoticed by the local authorities. Questions are being asked and security is at risk. With considerable resources at its disposal, disposal, your undercover network might provide access to safe houses and couriers to help continue to work away with pry from prying eyes. Um... Okay, so I can commit, but it costs me a little bit more, or I can cancel, um, and it just costs me 10, but I don't get anything out of it. Let's try. Succeed in developing our undercover network. There's now a web of people with vital connections indebted to our agents. That's that can be called upon whenever information or service is needed. All right, he succeeded. Good. So now, oh, we can interference. Well, uh, diminishing their counter-spying attempts and increasing your spy's cover. So I can spend 30 on this to increase that again, which I just spent to increase this. <laughs> I wonder if you're gonna like in infinitely do this. So now I'm, I'm using 30 of this, but I gained 50 back of that one. So I do build on the cover network again to get another 30 again, and then just keep going back and forth until they're both at 100. Um, increases my cover, costs 30 though. This is going up slower, so no, I'm not gonna do that right now. I think we'll just leave it. We just got lucky that we didn't even fill there. I wanna see. Yuan Shao actually figured out that I did that or not. Uh, your happiness thing. Shit. I'm going to click on my cell. There we go. No. Otherwise, it would probably say minus, like, counter spying or spying against me or whatever. Offensive spy actions. I don't know. All right. So that worked. Sweet. Uh, we destroyed a whole bunch of buildings and made a bunch of buildings. Good, good. So let's have a look at all the happiness again. So Dong Hai is actually still unhappy. So definitely going to build the temples here. Chen is barely happy, so let's build the temples there too. Which is what we were planning on doing anyway, but I'm just checking which ones are most unhappy, and then we'll start with those. Definitely want to get it there. This one's already got the level 2 building too. Okay. Um, any other place? No, everything else seems to be fine, although some of them are on 0, so let's build one here. This doesn't give me any actual money, so I'm not, you know, it's not like the greatest building to build, but it's alright. He's alright. Let's build that, because it costs a little bit of money. Might as well shove it in something. This place is pretty happy, it seems, but 
Uh, this has got mostly income from commerce. Oh, definitely commerce. Do we have any other commerce buildings we can build? We can build a state workshops, which I, I said is actually quite a good building to build regardless. So I think I'm going to go for that. Um, and then I've got a little bit of money left over. Is that enough? I can build that. Or I can build the Confucian Temple here. Which, sure, I guess. Let's go for it. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Actually, no, no, no. I'd rather build this building then, to be honest. Let's see what we can do with Shang Yong. This is Lumberyard of Weapon Craftsman. This is peasantry income, so I guess we'll just go for the regular peasantry buildings. Maybe even go for food, even though that wasn't really what I was planning on doing. I guess I can't build anything right there. This is the temple, but we got that covered, so let's upgrade that one. And then I can't afford the other one anymore in Shang Yong. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Uh, you're going to keep going. Actually, since you're going to be able to get into your own territory now, I could switch you around. I think. Unless I can't do it when I'm in this stance, but no, I can. Alright, so is there anyone who... I can get... No, I, I would like to get a... Um... Yeah, you wouldn't like Zhang Yong, but you'd like everyone else. Wang Bi. He's not part of my faction, though, whereas this guy is, but he hates them all. I hate them all! He said. Um... Okay, hold on, just out of curiosity, let me just, because I might go a little bit longer. What about here? Because you guys don't like each other either. A lot of people don't like each other. So you don't like both of them, and you guys like each other. Okay, so yeah, you need to get the fuck out of here. So what if I were to switch you with... No, you dislike both of them as well. You like Yu Jinping, but not Kwai, Kwai Pan. And then there's nothing else, really. Okay, no other options. So what I could do, that's the final option, I guess. Unless there's another army I could switch around with, but there's not really. Except for maybe this one. Uh, Wu Fu. Would you like Wu Fu? It's, it's unfortunate. There's no real relationship thing here. Like, you can you can see the relationships. Fucking doesn't like her husband. Um, people suggested this. So Wu Fu. If you go into core, then characters, and then search for Wu Fu, which I guess we'll just go by. By that. Wu Fu. Wu Fu. Where are you? So there you can see, there's, there, there's nothing there. Um, we just have to look at all these things and then kind of see whether they fit or not. The problem is, I still don't know if these people would like her. <laughs> it's such a fucking problem. This goddamn happiness is all over the damn place. Is Zhilang part of my faction? Yeah, he is. Okay, so I think we'll just recruit him, even though he's gonna not like everyone. It sucks because this in this army people actually like each other. What I could do actually is just um Yeah, this makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Um Although they could attack me. No, that's this way to turn. I was gonna say I can just um move his army over here and then switch him around, but if I do that, then <laughs> you just attack Dong, so let's hold off a second on that and do that next turn. Alright, who's not moved? You guys. Right, you need to move. That's pretty important, I'd say. Annex that fucking place. And you have been moved? No, you've not been moved either. You're just hanging out in this town. Having a grand old time. Let's go annex that place, shall we? Oh man, we're so fucking close to getting there right away. Okay. And then I won the toolmaker as well, I think I said, so I should have gone here first. Oopsie. I made myself a big ol' oopsie. They're getting close, so I gotta go on the offensive soon, because if I don't, they're just gonna grab everything from Kung Sun Zan, and I want... I want it! It's mine. My darn! <sighs> no, let's not do that. Request for independence. One of your administrators seeks the chance to strike out on their own and establish their own faction. As such, they request the right to form an autonomous vassal state, yet continue to serve as your loyal subject. Kwai Pan. What the? He wants Dong Hai. He wants this place. What the fuck? What the fuck, Kwai Pan? You think you can just go on and become your own goddamn faction, you little bitch? He's in here. Do I grant him Dong Hai? No, why would I grant... It's like, it doesn't seem logical here, right? 
Are you going to leave me if I do that? Sorry, mate. I'm not going to give you that. They were angry. Your plans are more important. Yeah, mate. The advice of Sima Hui. While traveling, you meet a young cowherd playing the flute. Intrigued, you speak of him, and he takes you to his master, Water Mirror, an old hermit living in the mountains. Water Mirror says, if you could only find fledgling phoenix or sleeping dragon, you'd be able to restore the order to the Empire. Oh, if only, I suppose, yeah. Man, that's such a shame that I can't find either of those two things. Alright. Uh, okay, so what do we got here? We got th we got this, this is important. Let's see. Which, uh, switch a Rooney thing? Why does it fucking say balance of power here? What the fuck? Alright, so I'm gonna switch you with you. Right? And then we gotta replace her. And hope that works out. I have no idea if this is even gonna work. Um, let's just do it and find out immediately. Oh, they actually like each other here, but she's gonna get taken out of the army. The question is, do these people like each other? Yes, they do. Okay, so I kind of fixed the problem here as well. Now, who, okay, I've got a different person leading this army now, though. So we gotta think about who is actually the best to lead this army. So I need uh, one commanding, which this guy doesn't appear to have anything of. What about you? Plus 10 military supplies on enemy army. It says own army, but I'm pretty sure it also says commanded army, so he has to be commanding. Otherwise, it'd be in here. So it probably is just. Ooh, he's got all those fucking formations. It probably is just a, uh, a typo. This is only when he's commanding. And then you have got fuck all. I think I. Otherwise, I would have made you the leader in the other army. So you, surprisingly, are going to be a commander here. Okay. And then here, you're going to get replaced. And the question is by whom? I, I need someone. Ah, oh, see, this guy. I don't. I want. Preferably, I want one of these. Um, so if I put him in, he doesn't like this guy, but he likes the other one. He likes Shan Chao. Because um, I can recruit Ni Yu. Ni Yu. Um, because he likes both. Well, he, he likes just John Rui, Rui, but he doesn't like. He doesn't dislike the other guy at least. Um, but I don't. I, I what I would prefer again, because I've talked about this many times now, is a vanguard in the army. So I think I'm gonna go for Zhilang instead. Uh, okay. I really. I, I want that they all like each other, but. Why can't you all just like each other? Like here, it's only two people that would dislike each other. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna go for Xilang instead. Alright, and then we're gonna recruit your force. And a couple of spear boys. Okay. And then you can switch that back whenever you're ready. Alright, so now we've got two armies ready here. For war. Um... And they almost all like each other, which is good. And now my wife is not doing anything. Which hope well next turn at least, which hopefully means that she's actually gonna be a little more active in the bets. She between the bed sheets. Oh you got a military great axe. You are probably a spy, but hey, welcome. Uh let's get you some wedge formation going on here. And nothing else. And... Oh no, sorry, that was someone else entirely. Okay, well, fuck it. Well, fuck it then. We got nothing available. Alright. Down here. This is now yours. You move there normally. Yes, I agree with what you just said. I'll have this weapon craftsman if you don't mind. Um, This. Okay, so the weapon craftsman. This building. Uh, can produce exceptional weapons with a very small chance of producing a unique weapon. Small chance of producing a unique weapon. A chance of producing a unique weapon. So uh, I think the way this works is you just get random ancillaries every once in a while. And they can be unique. So like like better quality essentially. Uh, the interesting thing is that uh, we'll see it here soon I believe when we take... Uh, oh no, we're not, not going to take that that's over here. The armor craftsman. I can't actually check it right now. But the armor craftsman, for some reason, it I think it's a vi it's another uh, name thing, uh, or like a, the text is wrong essentially because it says uh, here it, like for the, the the armor craftsman it says very small chance, very small chance, chance. Whereas this one says very small chance, small chance, chance. But in that the armor one it's just very small, very small, and then never got a chance. I noticed that when I was doing the uh, Sunjiang campaign. Anyway, I think I want to upgrade this because um, that looks like or that sounds like it could be pretty cool. Alright, so I don't want this place. We're not going to go further west. 
But we are going to go down here and take Badong. Badong, Badong. Uh, but we'll take that later. You're going to go ahead and take Wulong Town now. Unless I want to go back and... Ooh. Take this one first. I feel like that might actually be faster. Oh, yeah, we have to do it in normal stance, though. Because it's actually... It's not... Well, let's just take this place first, then. Fuck it. Because that's like taking a... Bringing a town back from the dead, essentially. Alright, so then we've got the... The small town here. And then we just need the toolmaker. And then that province is complete as well. And then all everything else around here is completely destroyed still. There is a faction that started down here. Uh, which we could meet at some point, but... Other than that, Sunjian is the further south. Besides the Han Empire, of course. And that guy. Uh, this place is still very happy. I guess we'll upgrade this further then. Because why not? And Yangzhou, we can't build anything that we want to build. These buildings are cheap as fuck. Holy shit. Holy fuck, this is cheap as hell. We can actually build this building again. Because I guess happiness has gone up. This is really annoying. It just keeps. It seems to be constantly shifting. It's mad. Madness. This is Sparta, actually. We've built the temple here now, so I should be able to build this. I got rid of it here because happiness was becoming a problem again, but... Since we've got the temple now, there's no reason not to, right? Let's build it. Just do it. Just do it. Let's do it. Uh, right, you are still replenishing. You're, I mean, she doesn't really have a goal anyway. I think she's honestly going to sit here. Oh, I don't know. I was going to say, I might actually replace her with my wife, but that <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of getting my wife out of the army. Um, I will, however, replace her likely with, um, if I find one, a vanguard who doesn't dislike everyone. Fuck me, she's expensive to recruit. This is why, people kept asking me this before, this is why I always got rid of the units if I didn't want those units before I got rid of the general. Because if you get rid of them, you don't have to pay for them again when you recruit them. For some reason now, we have to pay for these units again when we recruit them. Which is very annoying, but that's the way it works. Anyway, uh, any diplomacy we can do? Nothing really here. Then I might want to work with... I just, I, I just want to get him one of these things. Um, okay, yeah, you guys are going to hang out. This They could actually attack me this turn. Because one of my armies is a force march stance. Oh, no, not yet. But there's there's three armies right there. So I'm actually kind of happy that you want Shao showing up soon. Maybe I'll let you one Shao fight the armies, and I'll I'll jump in afterwards to take all the towns. Nice. Get the fuck out of my land, Han Empire, dude. This is my weapon craftsman. Ma Tang declared war on Jialong. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh. This is, we have no choice except for forcing to move, but alright. While resetting the people, your attendant comes up with an issue and requests your judgment. A couple living in the local area have refused to move, claiming that this has been their home for generations. What should he do? Uh, I need to either have gracious or, or well, I, I guess both, gracious and charitable, so I can leave them. I get minus food production, but I become a local hero. Or I can execute them if I had cruel and vengeful and I become the local villain. Or I can just pay 500 bucks and they fucking leave. So, yeah. I think I would have chosen that one either way. So, well, no, the, probably the, the good option. Alright, what trade do we gain? Brights on Kwai Liang. That's pretty good. Uh, spy events. Like, I keep trying to make his way in. They should have lost between me and Tsai Mao. What the fuck? Tsai Mao is the guy who used to own this town. Or that one. One of these two. Maybe both. Friend was killed in battle against my army there in Dignif. Oh, wait. This is gone, though, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. And the rivals went away between me and Li Chao. Or Sao. Li Chao. Uh, people showed up, but... Actually, there are two vanguards in there, so I should check. Do you... Would you be happy with any of these vanguards here? Ooh. Well, she's gonna get replaced. Yeah, there you go. So that one... They both like her. So I think I'm actually going to do this right away. So we get her out of this force as well. She's got actually really good cap though. She's a bit of a waste, but... Um, I need to get these armies like more in order, I think. So I think this is actually a good idea. Ling Chao. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Alright, who's got the best when commanding things? A lot of management right now. I know some people don't like it. People tell me about it too. More battles, please. 
no no administrative stuff and then other people are commenting yeah but i like administrative stuff i'm like yeah me too um anyway range firing rate military supplies on enemy territory and you have fucking not so it's going to be this guy leading the force i'm starting to get more and more strategy just leading forces now all right and you're going to get some units recruited although i don't think i can actually afford everything uh recruits so they lost the button there that one, that one, and then I want two of these, which I can't afford. I can get one. Fair enough. Okay, so these people all like each other as well now. We're getting, we're starting to get somewhere. Here, they all like each other, and then... Oh, actually, you guys can do that. You don't all like each other, but you almost like each other. So that's almost fair. Actually, you know what? Just out of curiosity. No, that wouldn't work. I wonder if that other guy would have worked, but that wouldn't have been the right thing to do regardless. Um... You're jumping in the water. And then we're, we're annexing that next turn, it looks like. Uh, you are going to start running down. See, so yeah, we're not taking that one, we're skipping that. And I want this province, so we must be getting awful fucking close now. Oof. Oof. You're going to take this one. So we've got two more towns to take. And then we're done taking all them damn towns. All them damn damn towns. Uh, Alright. So here's another problem I just noticed when I was looking at that. Liu Humin is. Okay, she's my grand director. So she isn't currently in a place, I imagine. I assume she is now with Liu Bei, right? We don't like each other though, but that's not that's fine. Just you know, just fucking put your dick in her. That's all. You, that's all I ask, man. I do not ask much. <laughs> all I ask is you put your penis inside her vagina. Um, okay. We got one building to build, which I imagine is uh, an upgrade to or that. Yeah, which again we don't want to build. We need the Confucian Temple here. Fucking turban, yellow turbans right here. Rebellion in the capital of uh, Sunjan's land. That's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Not really. Slightly interesting. Um, okay, I need to see the spy shit again, because he's probably got shit to do now, doesn't he? I want to discredit the character, I think. I want to, honestly, I'm, I want to consider getting rid of Zhu Chu there, and then recruiting myself. Zhu Chu. Um... Maybe, well, he's my, he's the heir, so probably not him. And this guy loves it there. Zuchu likes it there as well, to be fair, but not as much. See, see her, well, she's family member, actually, but she looks like she's not happy there at all. So if I dis discredit her, she's definitely going to be leaving, and I could possibly recruit her. But, I don't know, I haven't really got enough experience yet. Oh, he's back in the army, right, so we've got other options as well. We've got deny military supplies, prevent supplies from reaching an army, thereby hindering replenishment of units. Arrange for a local member of your undercover network to infiltrate a known character's army, thereby granting you its line of sight and allowing you to track its maneuvers. Attempt to manipulate the spy into being granted administrative powers over a commandery. Note that this depends on the target's faction need for administration does not guarantee an administrative appointment. Uh, arrange for the army provisions to be poisoned, thereby inflicting casualties upon its units, and leak an army's ma planned maneuvers, thereby allowing forces to engage them in night battles regardless of circumstance and increasing their chance of being ambushed. The thing is, right now, I'm not an enemy of Yuan Shao, I'm just kind of spying on him for, you know, the eventuality of um, Round of Vide, essentially. Which, at that point, we will probably be going to war. War. War never changes. We're gonna go into uh, a camp stance here, in case we get attacked. May as well have a camp. Um, I should probably also put him behind the town if I'm gonna be smart about this, because it looks like they might be on the offensive soon, so let's at least play this one properly. No could even ambush to be honest, but uh oh actually that might be a good idea. Yeah, fuck it, I can't bother it. it. Probably would be the right right choice though. Okay, so you've been moved uh I was trying to aim for Guan Yu, but I, there he is. You've been moved, you've been moved, everyone's been moved, except for someone who hasn't been moved. We're good. Hmm. I don't really want peace of you. I just my plan is now to destroy you. So I've 
The one shot is probably not gonna like me for that. Ooh. See, they're showing up now. I, I wouldn't mind if their army's gonna get killed a little bit, but if they kill each other and then I'll swoop in and take the towns. You want my wooden dog? You can fuck right off, friend. I'm not gonna let you walk from my lands unopposed. Our piece is fragile. You must know this. She. Spy returning Wu Wang. No! That's the, oh, that's the other one, never mind. He's, uh, he's failed in his duty. Okay. Uh, sh ready for duty, that lady? Right, so I can put in her, her in an army somewhere if I wanted to. Although right now, the only army I would consider putting her in, which I'm not going to, would be his army. Um, uh, you don't like each other. Okay, I might want to consider getting rid of him at some point. Anyway, let's take this town. Sorry, you're gonna have to move out? This is now... I own this place? No, I didn't realize this yet, but... Uh, and then I need to spend four grand on this, so let's do that right away. Establish order! Luckily, in this game, it doesn't mean you have to spend all of your army, which, like, basically means that army is then going to live there, because population is completely different in this game. Um, but it never really made sense anyway, because you, those people are then going to live there, but you're then going to replenish back units anyway, which always seems a bit weird. Um, this currently doesn't give any prestige, but let's upgrade it anyway. We're getting only 60 points away. If this accidentally switches over, if I get there, if I... Which, I'm actually going to stop annexing now, so this is going to go up very quickly. Which means that Rome Divide is happening soon, actually. I, need to, I should have considered this. I really ought to not do this, but it's not going to make much of a difference, to be honest. Um, Tranquil for Li Chao. Great. Uh, build some buildings. Character developments. Cheese, whatever. Secure the commander, you secure the commander. Alright, so those are all fully mine now. I've spent... Oh, fuck take. I was going to say, I spent all my money. I can still recruit that one unit, but I can't. It's 240. That's unfortunate. Actually, you know what? Cancel that building then. I'd rather get that unit now, so I don't forget about that. And then what I'll do... Is I've been looking at building that... Confucian Temple here, so build that here, and then I'll spend my money on that, and that is that. Unless there's something else I can do. I can actually upgrade this too. I'm gonna go for it. Alright, so... I'm pretty sure I could attack this army if I jump into the water and then attack her. I don't know if I could do it with both armies though. She's kind of blocking my actual... Like, I can't really go into the water and then land there, I think. Maybe I can, but I don't know. I think what I'll do is, I'll, yeah, I'll wait for them to do their battles, let them slaughter each other, and then I'll jump in and be like, yo, how's it going? Um, and take some land. There's another fucking army of Gongshin Zan. It's nice to know that I could peace out with him, though. It would, it would happen right now. But let's let them kill each other a little bit first. Let's see what happens. I can always do it next turn anyway. If it looks like Yuan Shao is going to take a lot of land back, I can just go for the peace regardless. Uh, not gonna build that there until I upgrade that further. I've spent all my money. Any other diplomacy I can do? Any quick deals? Quick, 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 make a deal. And become a vassal of people. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's such a weird thing to even offer. <laughs> can I please be your vassal? Um, yeah, I guess I'll take your money. Fine. Fine. Sure, okay. Start making babies, man. You've only got a couple turns left. I told, like, I told you. Turn 87? You're you're getting uh, you're getting divorced. No. Yes, my readers are pulling. I want those towns of yours. Ooh, there. See, ooh, my that's my dude right there. Oh baby, that's my guy. That's my boy. So that's one army gone. She. He, if I take towns around here, though, it's gonna happen even. F I'm gonna round the fight even faster. <laughs> Fuck me. I need to seriously consider. I don't know what I need. I, well, I've got like. To be fair, if we're being frank. Um. Okay. Fine. Relationship increased. If we're being frank, I've got an army here, on the doorstep of well, this town is pretty relevant, but on the doorstep of Sunjan, and I've got an army here. On the doorstep of Sunjian as well. Kind kind of. Not really, but kind of. I'll upgrade that now. 
and I'm gonna run back up north. Because yeah, we want to have an army on the doorstep. Actually, since that's his capital, what I need to do actually, that's something I need to do, is change my capital. But yeah, his capital's right there. Sun Jian's one of, the, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be one of the two factions. And then it's either gonna be Yuan Shao or Gong Xunzan, I think. But I don't know. Um, or maybe <laughs> he gets so many people supporting his independence. But what we need to do is we need to change uh, our capital, which costs 20 grand right now. But I think we need to do that, and then we'll need to put it somewhere where we have a high-level town that's not, like, straight up next to them. So I think, honestly, it's probably going to be this one. Um, or that one, I guess. But yeah, somewhere that isn't, like, literally on the fucking border right here of, uh, of their land where they can attack me right away. So we'll need to do that before. Also, we've got a spy active. So we have... Um, Wang Bi and Fang Liang, but they've... Oh, fuck me, he does not... Oh my goodness. He is not happy about his current core position. <laughs> Holy shit, this guy's unhappy. Look at this fucking face. Um, You're the only person in my court. I want you to know that. You're the only person in my court who doesn't currently want to be here. So maybe you should look to yourself about this problem. Uh, let's, uh, let, me, let me check here. Because you guys don't like him. Uh, you do like him. Alright, so I think we're gonna do a switch of Rooney here. And then just, uh, give him the right units as well. Because currently we've got the Archer Militia here still as well. I want to upgrade those too. So we'll confirm you. He's still unhappy. I don't think that's gonna change it at all. Alright, first of all, replace these boys with the Yi Archers. And them too. Ye archers. Boom. Alright. Now. I do apologize about your current state of being. Unfortunately, I don't have the money for this right now. He just wants a higher core position, but I haven't got one I can give you, unfortunately. I could fire Li Chao, since he's currently not in an army anyway. Um... If I remove him from office, he's obviously going to be very unhappy. Um, I think in the last one more turn I can just... Well, let's try something first. Let me just try canceling this building again. Or what else am I building? In Dong, I'm building something. And that's the one in Wuling. Okay, no, it's just those two buildings. Alright, let's cancel this. Let's just do this. This isn't going to help that much, but it might help a little bit. Yeah, up to 20, so he's alright now. He's still incredibly unhappy. He just wants a higher core position. The thing is, this guy would be a waste to get rid of him altogether, because he's actually quite good. He doesn't like the people he was in the army with, but he might like other people, right? So if I fire him and I promote that guy, he's just going to be super pissed. Because right now he's happy because of his promotion and salary. So if I remove him from office, I'm not going to just get the minus 20 from moving him from office, but he's also going to lose the promotion and salary, obviously. So... That's not gonna help. And he would all well, he'd still be like forty, but he might lose other things as well. I just don't I just don't know exactly what's gonna happen. So I don't wanna risk that. So I'm just gonna promote this guy a bunch of times through this thing, which is kind of ex expensive unfortunately, but and it, it goes away over time as well. Um, but there's a permanent bit of satisfaction attached to it as well, so I think that's good. Anyway, so I'm gonna wait one more turn here before I do anything. Um yeah, you're definitely gonna hang around here. Uh we have almost all of our armies now. Except for the two main ones, are actually led by um, strategists, which, you know, makes some sense. Just, uh, obviously, the two main ones aren't two, the two big boys. Uh, Alright, let's get a reform. Ooh, that means we are, uh, release, release, we unlock Onyx uh, Archers, Onyx Dragons. Which, uh, <laughs> ironic, because I just fucking... Recruited these guys. I should have probably thought about that first, but um, just to see the difference between them. Uh, sorry, that's repeating crossbowmen. Wait, where the fuck? Oh, all right, I can't. I need to do that. Okay, so uh, wait, is it? I don't want to pin that one anymore. This one, right? It, don't look at the health because that's inaccurate, obviously. Um, so if we compare these two, wait, which one? Are we, we just okay, click that one, and then there we go. Right, so now. 
Uh, green is the Yi Archers, red is the Onyx Dragon. So these guys have got higher morale, the, like I said, the HP is irrelevant. Got a lot more melee attack, or charge bonus, sorry. Uh, lower melee attack rate, this is all fucking irrelevant. Let's go for the range stats. Range stats, um, these guys have got more base damage. Um, but they've got a lot lower armor piercing damage. They've got 50 more range, however, and they've got lower ammunition. So yeah, it's like, yeah, the, the, the range is the most important part of that. Um, but these guys actually do more armor piercing damage, which is pretty useful. So I don't think I actually would have gone for these. Plus, these guys are 120, these are 240 uh, per turn, so I think that's actually the right choice. But I think actually we're probably owed a um, replacement on all my, my archer units. So these ones are now all Yi archers. These ones are all Yi archers. Uh, these ones are all Yi archers, and I think this one is still archer militia. Yeah, they're still archer militia. So I got two armies that need to need replacing. But that's all good, right? That guy's unhappy. I fucking know. Actually, you know what? The more unhappy people I have, the less fast we go up from this, so... <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. Ooh, that was a... I don't know if that was a battle or if they just ran away from each other. Are they gonna attack Gongshin Zan? Did they fuck up Gongshin Zan? He's still alive. I don't see... Yeah, I think they killed his army. I think it might be time for me to jump in there. Wait, what happened? Uh... Oh, he's gonna break my military access agreement with him. Fair enough. Wasn't planning on running for your lands anymore, so that's all good. Yeah, did what happened here? Uh oh! <laughs> right, that's what happened. Uh Gongshin Zhang got vassalized by Dong Min. <laughs> I guess he must have offered it, right? I imagine he offered it like, "Oh fuck, I'm getting actually, I'm this is not a good idea. I got fucked by Yuan Shao. Can I get an, uh, can I get vassalized by you, please?" Kind of sucks because now I haven't got any enemies anymore. But that that does mean I can prepare because once this reaches that last level, we are going to be round dividing. So I, I guess I can prepare a little bit more. Uh, Zhang Fei became honest. Okay, interesting. Um, craftsman workshops uh, is finished. Fine, Song Jing is available and this guy is ready for duty all right fair enough we'll have a, a further look at all that next time for now i'm going to end this episode thank you guys for watching i think we might legitimately declare ourselves emperor next year. actually we're still 10 points away so if we don't do it if we don't upgrade any towns <laughs> we're actually going to be okay we're not going to run the yet i can't even build this uh, this building up i just don't yeah we're, we're going to be okay we're totally fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, no, we're still going to prepare for it. But uh, next time. Until then, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day and goodbye.